Hey friends, welcome back. We're eating today. I'm gonna show you some of the recipes that I have in heavy rotation to help manage my PCOS. I really aim to do protein, fiber, low sugar, plant foods that I don't follow any specific diet. Those are my guidelines. I also, to keep it super simple, I can't eat things or maintain a menu that has tons and tons of ingredients. So you're not gonna find that here. You're not gonna find complicated here. The recipe I want to show you is a yogurt bowl that I eat in the morning and I really like chia seeds however sometimes I'm like this where I have just like the texture of chia so what I will do is I will soak these let them expand into a gel and then I'll mix in a bunch of Greek yogurt and add um, some strawberry preserves as a sweetener or flavor and that um, is both high protein and high fiber. So as far as chia seeds go, I do two tablespoons. And let's see. So I just keep the little tablespoon thing in the bag. It has its own special one. One in a bowl. Two in the bowl. And then there is a very uh, specific ratio of seeds to water, but I don't got time to do all that. I think it's like a quarter of a cup of water for every tablespoon. So this would be like half a cup of water. I, I just put, put some water in here. I do it like this. And I'm just gonna let these expand for the next 15 minutes or so. Um, and then I will come back, I will dump the Greek yogurt in there and then I will put some strawberry preserves, mix that all up. And that's three ingredients protein, fiber, strawberries, it's good, it's good. It really takes away that chia texture. That is super helpful. You can also put fruit in here, but I, this is a super easy breakfast that I can just do without having to think a lot. We love that. I do babysit it some though. Just try to like scrape off the sides a little bit. You don't want to eat chia seeds without letting them expand in water first. Otherwise, you could really mess up your stomach and possibly even choke. <laughs> we don't want that. So I am going to let these sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll add the yogurt and the strawberry preserves and show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's gelatinous. I probably add like a little bit too much water. So this is non-fat yogurt. I would add about three-fourths of a cup of this all the way up to, you could do more if you wanted more protein or just more hungry. But you add that and this does not look amazing. But yeah, it really thins out the chia texture and by the time you soak them, the beads are soft, so it's not as if it's not as if it's like a chia pudding or anything. So the last thing I'm gonna add. And at this point, you could also add honey. So I get this from Trader Joe's, and this is the organic reduced sugar strawberry preserves. It's 50% less sugar and calories than regular and one tablespoon has 25 calories and about six grams of sugar so it's not completely sugar free but i find that this is a much more affordable calorie wise option than honey and sugar free syrup is also a good calorie a cheap calorie so i just take some and then i'm gonna like put it in there and mix it up and it really does taste like strawberry yogurt so This is a helpful breakfast because it gets in protein. I think it's about, if you do three fourths of a cup of yogurt, it's about 210 to 200 and we'll just say 50, 250 with the preserves on the high side. And then about 19 or 20 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber just in one single bowl of yogurt. And so here it is. It doesn't look super appetizing, but yeah, I love this. I eat this almost every day and it really does help me stay in a calorie deficit. 